Oh, Ben, hello, mate. How are you? What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, you just got blown your nose. What happened to you? What happened? Someone hit you? Yeah, You okay? Yeah, I like this, my leg, anyway. Oh my gosh, what happened to you, brother? What happened, bro? And then I had some guy, fucking Australian guy, in the mouth, and he went, here, come here, so he flew away, flew away, and then I've slipped, and oh, he right. punched me in the face. Bloody Aussies, mate, eh? Hey? Uh, where, where are you? You're English? English? Yeah. I'm in. I'll show you hand next time you know a bloody hand. Take care, brother. Nice to meet you. Hey. Mate, how are you? How much for an umbrella? Oh, only, why so cheap? Free Wi-Fi. Oh, you got your free Wi-Fi with the umbrella. <laughs> that's a good, that's okay, a good value. I'll give you 200. Oh, I'm alright, bro. I'm alright. Thank you, mate. Thanks. Hello, mate. Hey, look at this TV. This is why I love to watch UFC. That's the best screen ever. That literally is the best screen for UFC. Hey mate, how are you? How are you? Yeah, not bad, Jim. Yeah, you're a bit banged up yesterday. You right now? Or? Yeah, good. You all right? Okay, bud. Yeah, you had a fall. You all right? Yeah, you good. I don't smoke, brother. I don't smoke. What's that? 10 pesos. Do I have 10 pesos? You don't have 10 pesos, brother? Uh -huh. What's going on? What's going on with you? It's going, it's going, it looks like. Last night, what happened? What's happened to you, bro? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, get the road guys, what? I love this taken. Taken, taken. So, this is nothing, guys. Yeah. There you go, bro. No worries, man. No worries. You alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Alright, bro. You see, now the grog a bit. You're pretty, pretty pissed last night. You're pretty banged up. Like, yeah. you've been in a fight or something? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Alright, bro. You take care. God bless, man. Hey. Hey. Hello, mate. How are you? How are you? That's a bit small for me, brother. It's a bit small for me. Yeah, I don't know who's gonna shoot it. <laughs> Are you twins? Yeah. Alright, bro. You're the singers. You're singers. Oh, you're very guapo. Look at your hair. You're very guapo, bro. You're very guapo. Handsome boys. Brothers, brothers. Oh, I guess you. Good boys, good. Shout out to the girls that pay they rent on time. If you ain't here to party, take your ass back home. If you get enough, say baby, here's my phone. Slide with a girl to the bar, slide with a girl to the car. I keep searching everywhere, but now here you are. Ooh, chunky, chunky. All right, boys, you, you guys rock. Thank you. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay, drama, man. I do like Koreans, so one of my best friends in the world is Korean. I haven't seen him in a while, but he's absolutely alpha lucky. Like he, uh, he learned English. We were doing a real estate course together. And he, um, he got a master's degree. He's like, a, like an Australian kendo champion. He like learned to count a dojo, he's a black belt, sniper, special forces, just a gangster, you know what I mean? Hello, mate. What's up, brother? How are you, bro? Hey. Hello, Australia, mate, Australia. What about you? New York. Ah, New Yorkers, mate. Yeah. 
Are you recording the whole strip right now? Yeah, well, I'm a vlog. I've got a vlog. Oh, yeah. We're actually, New York is our third largest city that views us. Yes, so, yeah. Yeah. Go, yeah. You look like a strong boy, mate. <laughs> what are you, a wrestler, a rugby uh, player? Football player, you used to be. American footballer? Yeah, but yeah. I was in the military too. Is this, is this your, your brother? Or? This is my dad. Ah, you look so young. Look yeah. at you. I don't know. Okay, so that's your son. Yeah. And what are you guys are? Uh... Retired military. Retired. Are you both military? Yeah, yeah. both retired. Oh, big. We travel all around. And what's your what's your background? Are you ethnicity? Are you? Oh, no, I'm Ecuadorian. Yeah, Ecuadorian. Ah. German. Yeah, I used to have Polish, German, and Ecuadorian. Ah, nice. Born in the States, though. How long are you guys here for? Three months. So you were in the military, and you were in the military. Yeah. yeah. And what did you do? I was in the infantry. I did a honor guard. And you weren't worried about him going into the army? I was, I was in it too. You weren't worried he was going to get shot? Hey, it's life. It's life. Yeah. It's life, buddy. How many kids do you have? Three. It'd be tough to lose a kid, though. My, my kid oh, no, was. No, no, no. Absolutely. I'm not going to say it's not tough. Yeah. You know, that's what he chose to do, and I have a problem. That you chose to do it, did you? Yes. Was your dad like, nah, I don't know? No, I said nah. he was in college. I was paying college. And he ah. was like, I'm not going to college anymore. I said, okay, then. Do what you got to do. So are you out now or are you still in? No, I'm retired. You're retired? I'm medically retired. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're young, yeah, it's good. So travel. I'm in, by the way. Please meet. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you too. Really. Yeah, you you look like you'd be a bloody handful in a fight, mate. I tell you. <laughs> See you guys. It's called Barbell Nomad. Two L's. It's got like Australian. Uh... You want me to find it for you? Yeah, no, I'm, um, that's like my, my, that's my usual bar, so it's like I'm connected to that Wi-Fi over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. I'll search that for you, Jim. Yeah, I'll find it for you, Jim. 100. 200? Oh, yeah. 200 for an umbrella? Uh, I'm Australian, mate. We don't, you don't use umbrellas. It's a bit soft. This guy's tough as, but he's using an umbrella. So he's like 100 for toughness, right? But because he's got an umbrella, he's 99. He's 99% yeah. tough, okay. right? Okay, I'm trying to get it <laughs> hey, so, oh, I, I'm going to put a video in a couple of weeks. I've only got on a brawl over here. So I was just filming, right? And the guys came out. They shone a light in my eye. They all stepped on me. So I kind of I kind of got down, put my chin down, put my hand up. And I was like, let's punch on. And um, yeah, I got it all on film. So it's going to get massive views. They always, whenever I get in these brawls on, on in Walker Street. Oh, you did? Yeah, they, uh, I, I was in a, I didn't get it on film, but I was in this massive brawl down here as well. When High Society was here, I came out and there was like 30 guys beating up this Mexican guy, right? And um, I went out and I, I pulled him off, right? I pulled the Mexican guy out and I kind of pushed the Filipinos away and blah, blah. And um, what happened was the flower girls were fighting and this American guy, Good Samaritan, he, he went in to help the flower girl and then all the, all the Viagra guys all jumped him. And I, I pulled him out, I took him to McDonald's, right? Covered in blood. And I said to him, listen, brother, you've got to go. And he said, man, I'm going to go back and fight them. And he started like bombing and weaving and boxing. And I was like, there's 30 of them. Anyway, yeah. they put him in hospital for two days and the police charged him and he had to pay the police 5,000 pesos. So you've got to be really careful here. Well, we had a, we had a brawl. We met these two girls. Ah, you had a brawl. Yeah, well, go on, We didn't have it. We didn't have it. We had these two girls. Like two nights ago, got into a cat fight. Yeah, yeah. Because they couldn't, they couldn't speak like, the same language, basically. Yeah, yeah. Dialect. And one was throwing bottles at each other, and the other one was grabbing their hair. Where was that? Where was that? Paradise, yeah. yeah. You're like a mini me. You're like a mini me of him. Look at you. You're like a little miniature. Like he got a little miniature doll of himself, right? That's insane. Yeah. They got into a huge cat fight. We just like, we just took off. And see, the thing I told him, I right, said, the bar. He goes, I always go back to the bar. I said, man, they're going to be looking for us. Yeah. <laughs> because one guy's like, they get like 2,500. Yeah. You know, so because they kept the phone. Yeah. The police came and said, no, you give up the phone, so you pay for the bottles and all that. You go around, you got to clean out and all that. Property back. So if you want to pay, and you own it, you pay the rest of it. Yeah. So it was not, but he was funny because he goes, damn, I already paid for the bill. So he goes to the owner, he goes, hey, you good? He goes, you guys are good. We left. <laughs> we left. We're not standing around yeah. there. Yeah. We're not standing around there, they didn't blame us. Yeah. And I said, oh, you guys did it. No, we didn't. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got to. You got to. Um, you got to leave, mate. You got to get out quick when something happens. I told him, I said, when I used to be stationed in 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to get in fights and all that. Oh, sure, sure. When I got in fights, I took a running. Yeah, 100%. Back in the old days, I was slim, I was fast. That's a huge guy, because the police fight with someone getting out. And as soon as I hear the police coming, I'm running for the other Got to be out, mate. Got to be out. Got to sprawl, brawl, and ghost. That's it. Anyway, mate, I'm going to run. Uh, great. Okay, guys. So I'm in a Mexican standoff with Jessica. That means she won't come to Angeli City, and I won't go back to the province, right? So maybe that's it. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to show you my room, um, and I'm going to the gym. I'm going to start just hitting the weights hard, 150 kilos gonna try and shred to 105, which I've done this before. I went from 156 to 15 before. So I just shred, I'm gonna show you my room, but that's the story. So I do love Jessica, but I'm in a Mexican standoff. I just can't set the precedent for, she's like, I'm not coming to Angeli City. You are Angie on your own. You have to come be with my family. And I love her family, they're awesome. And um, there was a power blackout and I just, the heat was insane. I freaked out and I basically, when I freaked out, I left in the middle of the night. So I said, come with me. She said, no, if you want to go, go on your own. She's a sweet girl, but she tried to call my bluff. So I said, cool, so I'm gone. So I'm on my own in Energy City. So let's, let's go have a look, right? Okay, so this is the pool. Not a big pool, but it's right outside my room, right? And then I've got here, I've got my protein powder. So I've got some marshmallows because I'm diabetic. I got hypoglycemic. I got that after chemotherapy. And I've got my yoga blocks. I've got a heap of bands, so when I'm really tired, I don't want to work out, I can just work out the pool. There's the bed, it's a bit of a mess, so I just got in, just set up all my power banks, and that's it. So we're hitting four scoops of protein, and then one pre-workout, and then we're gonna go out, we're gonna go hit the gym. So there's a 24 hour gym here, so we're gonna join the 24 hour gym, so it should be good. So guys, I'm just using water in my, um, in my pre-workout, in my sorry, pre-workout and protein shake. And the reason why I'm using water is because I'm not a pussy, okay? So I can't use water, I need to use juice, I need to use milk. Come on, mate, use water. Three scoops of protein and water. The bands are for when I'm tired. I'm tired, I've done power cleans. So power cleans, bent over rows, and uh, bench press is the crux of my workout. When I'm tired, I'm gonna go in the pool, I'm gonna do bands. Small muscle groups, like the old biceps, Get done with bands, mate. So get done with bands. So look, I'm not a fitness, uh, I'm a financial planner, I'm not a fitness instructor, super overweight, I'm trying to do some fasting, intermittent fasting. And uh, yeah, so, you know, if you're like, hey, he's a fat bastard, you're absolutely right, I'm a fat bastard. But we're gonna be blogging around Angeles City. We're gonna, I wanna take you for a tour. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to Walking Street, we're gonna have another little tour, I'm going to the gym again. So we'll see what craziness happens on the way to the gym. Just could I own a Mexican standoff. She won't come here and I won't go to the province. So I don't know what's gonna happen, mate. We're in a Mexican standoff. And you can't get married off the back of a Mexican standoff, right? She just refuses to come here. And I, I had a, I had anxiety attacks in the province, mate. I don't know why, but I just get, I just get anxiety attacks. So ugh, that's why I rush out. I just get anxiety and I, I rush out. I just, I've got to leave, I've got to go. So there was a water shortage, a power shortage. I just got stressed out and had to leave, you know what I mean? I'm different, there's a whole heap of near car accidents, you know, you can't walk on the roads. The roads aren't designed for you to walk. People shout at you, hey stupid foreigner, we only walk at Easter, don't walk on the roads, you know what I mean? Like, it's stressful, dude. I'm all right, brother. I'm good in that department. There's Envy, this is like a very famous place. That guy's shirts, obtuse. I love that word, obtuse. Hello, mate. <laughs> ah, hello, brother. How are you? What's happening, bro? What's happening? This is my friend. We hang out at McDonald's every day. How are you? So, Sam, Sam. Just vlogging, mate. Just vlogging, going to the gym, just vlogging. So yeah, all these guys are hiding. <laughs> so yeah. All right, man, I'm gonna keep walking. Oh, I'm just going to the gym, gym. Yeah, I'm just working, going to the gym. All right, bro, you take care. How are you, brother? Good. Say hi to my mum. <laughs> You're a good man.
อะไรไหมอะไรอ่ะออซี่ไหมออซี่บาร์กันสกอตแลนด์มาละอะไรอะไรแอนซึมเอ่อซัมมันมาคุกอะไรบราอะไรอ่ะคลับลุยสฟาอะไรใช่ไหมใช่ไหม So I used to work at the bank. I won't say which one, but I worked. Well, I worked at two big banks in Australia, right? And uh, this guy was robbing a, a like a truck driver. I got out at eight o'clock because I was working late. This is the best banker. I was a financial planner, right? And um, I get out. He's robbing this guy. He's robbing this truck driver. I said, "Just go. I'll deal with this guy." This guy had a skateboard. He's pretty thin, right? And um, he goes, "Oh, mate, he's going to give me money now. You're going to have to give me money." And I said to him, "See that bank over there?" He goes, "Yeah." I said, "I work in that bank, and I have two grand in my pocket, crisp bills, never used, right, straight from the bank. You can have it if you can just take it. You just have to take it, brother. That's all you have to do. I will not call the police. You just have to try and take it, right?" And then he was like, uh, he said, "I'm schizophrenic, right?" And I said, "I'm in two minds about believing you," which I thought was really funny, right? So uh, yeah, I don't think he appreciated it. Anyway, he didn't take it. He didn't take up the offer, but I did have two grand on me, right? Uh, and I would have given it to him if he could have taken it. But I would have given him a jujitsu lesson, son, a Greco-Roman wrestling jujitsu lesson. You know what I mean? So this is uh, this is Angeles City. Walk about hotel. I don't need an umbrella, mate. I'm from Australia, we don't use umbrellas. That's soft as. <laughs> hey. <laughs> See how these frogs, mate. How cute. Good, bro. Australian, Australian. Me too, mate. Good man. <laughs> All right, bro. Hello. How are you? Hello, man. Everybody wants to be there. Hello, man. So it's a pretty big nightclub. Now, new new nightclub. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you? Good, mate. You sure? Just walk, yeah. Oh, don't like the camera. Hello, mate. Hello, 
Oh, my pants are falling down. So I've been on getting a five of the bounces today. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? Good. K drama, mate. K drama. Uh, Cuba. Uh, <laughs> All right. Cuba. Blogger, yeah, blogger, blogger. Hello, how are you? Hello. Sorry. Blogger, yeah, that's right. Hello. Hello. Uh, Angeli City, mate. So there's a Thai food eating apparently. Hello mate, how are you? That's why we're going to be probably with the bouncers, blah blah. Ah, uh, pirate, eh? That's good. So like, guys are pretty tough, right? They take it softly, softly. They don't go, they see a big guy and they're a big guy. They take it softly because they know what we can do to each other, right? But some of these other smaller guys, I don't know, man, they just think they're immortal. Like, like, oh man, I'm just going to mouth off. I'm going to, you know, you see my video with that bar when I nearly got a punch on with the uh, guys. Hello, mate, how are you? Look at this uh, Hindu face thing. That's cool, isn't it? What's this called? Bakara. Oh. There's no, there's not quite a street like this, mate. I'll tell you, I mean, the three streets in the world are this street, uh, Pattaya Walking Street, and then you've got uh, Phuket Bangla Road. So Fields Avenue, Pattaya Walking Street, uh, and Bangla Road, they're the three streets. So yeah, let's go so high the cops. Hello, mate. How are you? Everyone's hiding. Walkabout Hotel, I keep saying it, owned by Koreans. One of the big disappointments of my life. Aussies, mate. Look at this K drama. So, Kosan, I eat here all the time, but. This is where I take Jessica. It's really good. Food's great. There's another Korean restaurant next to it. I haven't been here. I'll try it. Hello, mate. It's like a little market thing. So things here are like five, six times the price of normal uh, shops. But, you know, it's... Go over that tourist dollar, mate. Hello. Hello, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Now there's a there's a like a bond between a, a, a parent and a child. It's like it's the greatest thing ever, right? All right. So this is a pretty bar guy. Right. Hello. How much? 100. Ah, oh, why so cheap? 
Why so cheap? Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello, mate. Two hundred for an umbrella. I mean, I'll sell you ten umbrellas for two hundred. Hello, mate. Yeah, I will literally sell you ten umbrellas for two hundred. Hello. Hello mate. So that's pretty good. Good food's not bad here actually. A lot of people eat here. Hello mate. Yeah, you got a hotel. Hello brother, how are ya? I've got to go to a meeting. There's a really nice guy, he's an English antique stealer. He's a really nice to buy. Hello mate, I don't need a towel bro. I'm all good bro, I'm all good. Man, some bloody crazies on this street. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you? 